Hi guys, it's James here and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to share with you my Wanda 350 Battleship Bismarck, which I got about 10 years ago. It's the first Wanda 350 scale ship I ever built, got it for Christmas. Um, it was massive. It's an absolute monster of a kit. It's the biggest I've built by far at the time. Um, really, really enjoyed making it a couple of days down at Christmas and then uh, took it home and really start with detail work. Um, so I managed to drill out some of the windows, stuck bits of extra piping in the form of uh, paper clips I think I used on, um, used milliputs as blast bags over the primary and secondary weapons and then a bit of a jump forward but I ended up buying some Eddard photo etch so this is the first one I've ever bought again and it was primarily railings and a few little bits and pieces around some of the turrets. Um, it's an amazing kit, I can highly recommend it. It's not as big as some of the other ones I've built recently but I think you know if you ever start building one to 350 scale models there's two that come to mind for first timers with the Bismarck and the Titanic. Um, more on that maybe another time. But um, the Bismarck is a fantastic kit. The Rebel one is highly, highly detailed. I can actually have seen that there's a Premier Edition or Ultimate Edition one that's come out now which has actually included all the photo etch inside of it. So if you can see it, I think I'll try and put a post to find the link and put that in the description below. If I can find it somewhere for you. Um, but yeah, highly recommended. Um, I originally painted the lower hull sort of a much lighter red, more of a red red than a brick red and I ended up repainting it. But um, highly recommended and um, yeah, I'll shut up now and let you uh, enjoy some of the pictures. But being like a big massive child I wanted to see how big the Bismarck was compared to a more modern ship so who it is against the Enterprise aircraft carrier. Obviously the carrier is much much bigger but I think it's interesting to see just how far ship design has leaped in the 25 odd years since uh, the two were commissioned. And um, yeah, all I can say is highly recommend the kit. We are in the lookout for a good starter kit as I'd say. This is probably one to do. Um, so bear with me, I mean obviously I built this about 10 years ago, this is before I had an airbrush, this is all painted by hand, and um, yeah, would I do it again maybe? But it's a great, great kit, it's got lots of fun memories for me doing bits and bobs with my dad, so um, yeah, something to enjoy. Thanks for watching, um, I hope you like the video, if you do give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, I know I'm going to put lots of this on Facebook, so there's lots of groups up there that will find this interesting. But uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Speak to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.